This will come about after the seven years of tribulation. The earth is going to be a mess. There'll be people dead laying all over the earth in the Jezreel Valley. Who in the world would want to go into a kingdom like that? Jesus answers the question. Book of Matthew basically teaches about the kingdom, and it's a key study, the book of Matthew. In chapter 19 and verse 28, he makes the statement that when you come into the regeneration with me, Regeneration is a key word. Key word. It has a relationship to salvation, of course, but the word comes from two Greek words, paleon genesia. Paleon genesia would be the English word regeneration. And it tells us there in the verse 1928 that indeed Jesus is on his throne. Well, what's he going to do? Paleon means again, genesia means genesis. Jesus was in the Garden of Eden when he created everything. Garden of Eden comes into existence on the third day of creation in the six day week, 24 hour days. And so he's gonna make the earth just like it was when he created it in the Garden of Eden. Now I'm not talking about the new heavens and the new earth, that's later, after the great white throne judgment. I'm talking about how the kingdom is gonna be. So that's gonna be the surroundings like it was in the Garden of Eden. We'll see, and I used to be an old snake hunter. I love dealing, I'm a herpetologist, they call it, love dealing with snakes. Well, the little child is going to be able to pick up the most poisonous snake that there is. It's going to be wonderful. Jesus Christ is going to be the ruler of the world. It says over in Isaiah chapter 2 and Micah chapter 4, he's going to be teaching us from the city of Jerusalem. John, you and I both have taught for many years. I love teaching. I'm kind of excited about being able to sit at the feet of Jesus Christ and have him teach me. I want to learn what he's going to teach us. Yeah, and people say, what about the political condition of earth during that time? And Isaiah 9, 6 says, For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. So who's going to be in charge, Jimmy? Jesus Christ. He will be the one who tells everybody what must be done. And it says also in Revelation 2 and 3, it talks about that those of us who are overcomers, those of us who get married to Jesus Christ, we will rule with him on his throne as he was on his father's throne, but we'll have to rule sometime with a rod of iron. And that's going to be how that government operates during that thousand year period of time. 